Alright, so I'm leaving Surreal and we're heading to the railroad station with my yes. new friend from the coffee shop. <laughs> yes. And, and then, yeah. Maybe you will see me too on YouTube because I don't like it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? yeah? Why? Alright, welcome to the railroad station. Railway station, yes. Zelenica Stancia. Zelenica. I need to teach you. Okay, that. go. Le. 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 I can't do it. You, you put your tongue above Le. the teeth. Le. Almost. Zelenica. 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 Ch. Z. R. Z. L. Oh, it's hard. I can't say it. <laughs> Very well, Sishi. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to say Oh my god. Station, you know, it's really complicated. Yeah. Uh, or language doesn't work. Oh, the other door? Ah, one door is enough. Mm. Oh my gosh. I've never been in a Bosnian uh, railroad station before. It looks like it's abandoned. Yeah, it does look. It looks like, it, seriously, it looks like it's uh, not it's even working. Really oh my God, look at this Coca-Cola ad. It's from like 1970. Yes, from 1970, something like that. Oh my God. Welcome to like, maybe not to 1970s, but like for sure 1980s. I don't think this place has changed at all. This is older than the ones in Ukraine, for sure. You know, huh? this is prohibited to do, oh. to record and to take a pictures. But I'm a tourist, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it doesn't matter. At 4.49, I'm done. It's a new old way to, it's with really tickets. Yeah. yeah. Very old. I mean, this whole, this whole place is an old fashioned. Yes, it's, it's very old fashioned. Hey, Daniel. So, I about have about half an hour before my train. So I'm gonna head over to get a chibavnitsa. That's the little bread thing with the sausages. So I'll go get a little snack, and then I'll come back to the train. Right. Looking good. All right, so I'm having a little food here at a train station. Oh, Hami. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Hami. He's the big boss man grilling up the meat. That's good. Only weird thing is people are smoking inside the restaurant. <clears throat> that is uh, about me in the US. I've been to a lot of different, uh, I've been to a lot of different train stations, but this is definitely the first time I've had like this a barbecue inside a train station, or at least like I'm connected to it. So this might be the best food I'll ever have on the train station. All right, so I decided to have the beef instead of the chapati because I've had it so many times. But there you go, guys. All right, guys. The beef wasn't as good as I was hoping. It's a bit chewy. It was still the best train station meal I've ever had in my life. So take that how it is. Now I have nine minutes to find my track and board the train to head down to Mostar, which I've heard is a beautiful place in Helsovigini, which I need, still need to learn how to pronounce. Helsovigini. Let's do that. my amazing beautiful train station so it's my train tickets maybe it's this one to Mostar Mostar yeah
Fala. All right, I think this is it. This is the train to Bolstar, guys. Four minutes early. <laughs> Four minutes just in time, I guess. There's no reserved seats, so you can just sit wherever you want. So goodbye to the capital city of Sarajevo. And goodbye to Bosnia. We're going down to Herzegovina in the south. that these tables are really nice look at this it's like a really big area actually like perfectly set for like a laptop trash bin new plugs oh wait there's plugs here oh it's really good amazing Really nice ride. All right, so I'm just like 15 minute walk away. So I'm gonna walk. Luckily, my bag's not too heavy. But uh, that's how it is. Sorry, it's interrupting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I watch you and Bold. Oh, cool. I feel like half the reason we kind of go over to Sarajevo and it's just so crazy to suddenly. Oh my god! Oh, that's so wow. random. This is so random. Yeah, yeah, random. Really nice hey, nice to meet you, Johnny. Hey, nice to meet you, Johnny. How are you doing? So nice what are you up to right now? Uh, I'm walking to my Airbnb. Oh, awesome. Nice. We're just trying to get picked up by Airbnb as well. Okay. We're gonna get some food and then. Let's hey, do it. Nice yeah. to meet you. So I took first two friends in Mostar already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll catch up with you later. All right, ciao. Guys, how funny is that? Right off the train, I met uh, two guys who watch my channel through uh, Bold course because the most more famous guy and he, they said that they would ne never would have even considered coming to an insane place like Bosnia but with our uh, weird tourism they did so here we are guys we're gonna be going to uh yeah the Airbnb hopefully this definitely looks very uh I don't know Balkan maybe Slavian He's my first all star cat. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like a pyramid or something. It looks like something that should be out of Egypt, not uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Speaking of pyramids, there actually are pyramids in Bosnia, but it is contested whether it's man made or it just happens to be shaped that way with nature. Before I go any further, I must just say that I do want to believe. But hard material evidence for these huge angular hills being man-made structures really is hard to come by. By the way guys, we are no longer in Bosnia. We are in Herzegovina. 
which is the other region that the country is named after. There seems to be a lot of Tito graffiti here still today, 2022. All right, guys, so while I'm walking over to my Airbnb, I might as well explain why I am in this city. Uh, when I was in Split, my original plan was to go to Dubrovnik, and I saw that I would either have to get stamped into Bosnia to cross and just go straight, or while I'm here, I might as well go check out one of the cities. And this was the closest city to the Dalmatian coast where I was at, and uh, people said it was really nice. People said it had a beautiful old town, old bridge, and I thought, okay, why not? And Funny enough is on the way from Sarajevo back down to the coast, I can either go straight through or I can stop here again. So I figured, you know what? It was on my mind. It breaks up the trip a little bit. It's not as long of a train ride. So why not? Here I am. I mean, it would be a shame to go to Bosnia and Herzegovina and not go to the Herzegovina area. Is it you? Hello, I'm Johnny. No, no, no. I was walking here the whole time. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know I must speak English, so it's okay. My daughter is not here. It's okay. No problem. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Follow. Follow. <laughs> <So fair. Yeah. laughs> uh, this uh, central uh, city. Uh huh. Uh, uh, old bridge. Uh, one minute. Oh, very no, close. Uh, okay. Uh, you have many restaurants, okay. it's good. good? Okay. <laughs> okay, you have um, supermarket, okay. uh, anything. Uh, okay, I won't cook, it's only two days here. <laughs> okay. Wow, ready? It's so old and beautiful yes. here. And this is the mosque near your house? Yes. What's the name? Vichyakovic. Vichyakovic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and okay, how do I say this region? It's Bosnia and Her Herzegovina? Bosnia and Herzegovina. Hits, hits. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herzegovina. Yeah, bravo. Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. 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 Dobre. Okay. Oh, ready? Perfect. Yes. Thank you very bye, much. Bye. I appreciate it. Bye, Hola. Bye. See you. See you. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye. All right, there we have it, guys. Here is my, actually not Airbnb. This is a booking. So I paid 90 for it, which I think is about 45 euros or $48 or something for two nights. It's pretty cheap. And right in the, the Old Town City Center. It's funny, it's literally just long stairs washing machines, a tiny bathroom, and a bed. And then here we have a tiny nook of a little, I guess, kitchen. <laughs> and this is what we see downstairs. Oh, wait, what is this? A little storage area? Maybe a second person can sleep up here? The shower is hilariously small though. Like, my head basically goes above this. So if I want to shower. <laughs> so if I want to shower, I basically have to do this. And I'm like, it's like showering in a Covered, I guess. Probably smaller than any shower. I've ever, I never had to duck under a curtain rod to shower, but I'm only here for two nights, so it was cheap and in the center, so I'm okay with that. What's the name? Vichyakovic. Vichyakovic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is my Airbnb, where I cross from this mosque, and I think I'm a really, really close walk to Old Bridge, which is the main touristy area of. Mostar. 
I think right across the street is kind of where everything is. On that side. Guys, it's only been like a two minute walk. And I think I already see where all the cool things are. How beautiful is this? Oh my God, guys. Welcome to Mostar. All right, already you see these super quaint little uh, art galleries. Really nice little coffee shop. Yeah, I like it already. Oh. Here we go, guys. This is the old bridge. Wow, it's beautiful here, guys. Playing the stock. Oh, look. There's people hanging out by the river here, too. This is cool. It's a lot more nature than in Sarajevo, which is uh, basically just a city and the mountains a bit far away. Here actually looks like you can go for a swim event from the beach. Guys, I've only been here for like an hour and this is my first time seeing the old city, but I really like it. I, I can tell why people recommend this place so much. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I know it's hard to walk here. I know, Yeah. Look how beautiful this place is, guys. Oh my God. Now this is idyllic. <laughs> Exactly the perfect time for this too. Guys, I can tell you right now that even if you came just for this view and just for the sunset, it would already be worth coming to Bosnia and here's the beautiful for this. So I would absolutely recommend coming here because I can tell you right now, this town is so quaint and so beautiful that it is worth the trip from Croatia or from the Balkans or from Sarajevo or from wherever you are because I have been to a lot of beautiful places and I would say this is one of the most beautiful places I've been to anywhere in the world. Especially if you like nature, old architecture, culture, and I'm assuming it's going to be good food, so let's do that. Hello. Hello. The only thing is it's just super hard to walk on, so everyone's struggling with it. Alright, here's the first doggo I've seen. Are you friendly? Are you friendly, buddy? Can I get close? Oh, you're a nice dog. So through these gates, it's going to be the continuation, or I guess maybe even the start of the actual old town. It's funny that they already priced everything in euros. But this looks like it'd be a cool place to hang out and just have a drink, a little gelati, and hang out. Now, uh, in Bosnia Herzegovina, is it already euro, or is it still in uh... one euro? Okay, but I thought the Euro starts uh, next year. Yes. Okay, yes, yes. officially, but yes, yes. now we also take it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. follow. <laughs> 
I mean, I know this is a touristy area, but everything's already marked in euros, which is funny because in Sarajevo, nothing was marked in euros. Everything was in their local currency still. So depending if you guys are watching this live in June 2022, or if you watch it a year later, they're gonna be on the Euro. All of Bosnia is gonna be on the Euro starting in January 2023. Prices will go up. But some points of prices already have it in the Euro now. So I won't even walk in for a few minutes. It looks like the walking pedestrian area is pretty small. Because here already you can see cars in front of me. Look at the sky though, it's a really nice night. I don't know if it's always like this, but today's really nice. I guess that's it. <laughs> this old town is way smaller than I was expecting. I don't know why, but I, I assume to be much bigger. I guess it doesn't need to be that big. But uh, yeah, let's let's explore a little bit of the, I guess, I don't know, the nano town, the new town. The river here is drastically uglier as you can see right away. You know, I've only been out of the old town for like 50 meters or something, like a block. And I already feel like the magic is gone. The old town is, you know, a tourist little square, little street. I'm sure the restaurants here outside are much cheaper. But I don't know, the, the old town was just so nice. It was like, so close. I would say if you come here, you have to stay close to the old town because if you're here, you can be you know, really anywhere in the world. I mean, not that this is bad, but it doesn't have that same magic, right? Now you're just kind of like in a, in a city. Let's head back. Let's head back to the old town, guys. So, very gratified. They were a nice. So, I ordered, uh, what is this called? The local, I don't know, Samar? Maybe? Yeah, local Samar. Yeah. By the way, I made a, a new friend. Here you go, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Marie from Germany, but living in Vienna. Yeah. And uh, we were forced to share a table because it's so busy here. Oh, yeah. I should share it by the way. <laughs> but I asked the waiter, I was like, hey, I want to have this Samar, but it's a big because I'm hungry. He's like, yeah, 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 it's enough. It's more than enough for one person. And it's tiny, look at this. So, I don't know if people here eat very little food, but it's basically smaller than my, my hand. Yeah. I think students and uh, I also know some Bosnians, so I just talk to them yeah, beforehand. Yeah. And then on my way, you know, you figure out what feels good, depending on the weather as well. Yeah, yeah. So how long are you in total like traveling for? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Oh, hey guys. Hope you enjoyed this last video. Man, Sarajevo and being in Bosnia in general was just, it was a lot to learn. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad I stayed. I'm really glad I stayed for seven days, I think it was seven nights, maybe even eight days in Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia e Herzegovina. I'm hoping I finally learned how to say this right because honestly it's been very difficult for me. Uh, but I think drinking all this, uh, Kokta has helped me with my my Bosnian, which uh, people probably don't want to admit this, but is basically the same language as Croatian uh, and some other ones, maybe Slovenian or Montenegrin or Serbian. So the good thing is if you learn how to say a few words, like Fala, thank you, Dobi Dan, good, you know, good day, uh, or uh, Kokta, uh, Fala. Speak in all these countries. This stuff is so good, by the way. I'm not sponsored by Coca, but Coca-Cola has nothing on this. It's just like imagine if Coca-Cola was made with like pomegranate juice and love. This is what it tastes like. So, yeah, I want to say I'm so happy I, I gave it a shot. Uh, I'm sorry if the first of the video seemed very negative when I said don't go to Sarajevo, and it's because I had a bad experience. 
you know, I know I didn't do a ton of research. I didn't do any research before going, but I'm giving you the experience of a traveler who just shows up on the bus from Croatia. Someone who's like, you know what? Split, beautiful. Uh, Zadar, beautiful. Primlstein, pristine. But why not also check out Bosnia while I'm close by? And the reason why I didn't uh, call Croatia, the former Yugoslavia, is honestly, I had completely forgotten. I didn't even realize it was a former Yugoslavia. And at least in the cities I was in, all the coastal cities in the Dalmatia, the Dalmatian coast, it did not feel at all like it was ever Yugoslavia. It is so clean and modern. And if anything, maybe a little bit too uh, clean and modern. I actually kind of like the I don't want to call it the griminess, but you know, this, this feeling of history and culture. And Syria had so much of it. And the war, and staying for both the war tour and the staying and talking to the locals and eating the food, I'm so glad I did. And it's funny that somebody had mentioned the more you learn about the history of Bosnia e Herzegovina and more about the war, the more confused it'll be. Because there's a lot happening, and they say history is written by the victors. And in this case, it was the Bosnian Muslims who won against the Serbitska Republic Army uh, Federation versus the Republic. It's confusing, guys. If you want to do some research, there's a ton of information, uh, both on YouTube, but also in history books. But you guys have to remember that there was three or four sides fighting a war and they all going to have slightly different histories. I wish that I was able to interview or talk to some uh, Bosnian Serbs or Bosnian Croats about their side. Since then, uh, I have spoken to, you know, people from Croatia, obviously, and then uh, some Serbs as well. And they have, you know, their versions of what had happened as well. Uh, this isn't a political channel, I'm not, you know, deep diving into history. But from what I know, in the beginning, in the breakup, uh, you know, the Bosnian Muslims were not perfect either. They did some crazy stuff, you know? Uh, so I understand uh, why there's conflict and people hate each other. But what we do know for sure is that the Serbska Republic, basically the Serbs, uh, they did a lot of lot more crazy stuff. They had, you know, and this was all verified in the, the Hague when they uh, when the, they had the war crimes trial. For sure, they basically you know sieged, occupied uh, the capital Sarajevo, and as we might learn in the next video, uh, the Croats maybe in Mostar as well. Uh, for four years in Sarajevo. That's a long time to be sieged in a war. People were starving, people were dying. There was that famous photo that I sh I, asked, I showed in the background, but I didn't actually explain it. And I'm sorry for not explaining it, because it was a very powerful message. Um, somebody thought it was offensive to have that, you know, billboard in the middle of the city, but it's, a, uh, it's actually a history reminder. This was a quote or a piece of graffiti that was left by the UN peacekeepers, Dutch soldiers that were supposed to be there to help protect and keep everyone safe, yet they didn't do much. They basically observed and watched for four years as people were being killed, people were starving, and women were being raped. And the same thing is happening now in Ukraine, where the West is kind of just watching and giving just enough support where Ukraine doesn't collapse under the Russian attack. But they're still allowing Ukrainian citizens, you know, just normal people living in these cities to be, you know, besieged, like what happened in Irpin, Bucha, Gostomol, uh, and Mariupol, and now in the Donetsk. Uh, there's actually a family from Mariupol 
who were trapped there for a month and a half during the war that are now living in my apartment in Kiev. And I was talking to the daughter um, on FaceTime yesterday for like an hour and a half. And she was telling me everything that happened and how hard it was for them to escape. So it's bad, man. Like really bad things are happening in Ukraine today, in 2022. And my time in Bosnia, looking back 30 years when the war stopped, it makes me you know, wonder, and maybe you as well, why didn't the UN do more? Why didn't NATO step in sooner? Uh, why didn't the world do more? You know, because obviously it became very, very one-sided. And regardless of if, you know, all sides had their, you know, their version of why it started, the fact is there was clearly an aggressor who basically, you know, started just killing people, setting up now for tracing caps before it was uh, something very similar in Sarajevo. Uh, literal rape camps, you know, there is like, and this is not, you know, the, you know, date rape, you know, somebody, you know, someone got drunk and they uh, weren't, weren't able to consent or they regretted it later because their friend said you shouldn't have slept with a guy. You know, this is like a violent rape, like machine guns at your head, beating, like really bad torture. And this is when the world really needs to step up. You know, you know, it, it's like, I cannot believe we're allowing this to happen in 2022. I can't believe we allowed it to happen for four years back in 1992 to 1995 in Sarajevo. And the US and the West, even if one one thousandth of these crimes happened in the US, even if there was one day of siege, even though it was one day of war, we would be up in arms to defend democracy and freedom and people's innocent lives. And here in Bosnia, we let it happen for four years. In Ukraine, now it's been over a hundred days. It's been almost four months. So please, let's stand together. Let's support any way we can. Um, you know, however you can. If you have an extra room in one of your apartments, uh, or where you're living now, it, you know, and you can take in some refugee families. Uh, if you have money to send, if you have any way to, to help and support, please do so. Uh, and if you know you want to help the animals, uh, we are doing another uh, fundraiser. We're trying to get to the goal for the animal fundraiser uh, that Cynthia Vladim and her team uh, have been doing. And we're very close. So thank you all for your support. Because remember, you know, it's not just human lives that are affected, it's also the animals. So uh, if you want to continue supporting through my GoFundMe, links are below. If you want to donate to any of the official charities, like the one on the, the right hand side of uh, YouTube, like Razon for Ukraine, please do so. If you want to donate to the to animals and help get to the goal so they can finally finish building uh, the shelters. Please do that uh, below as well. Here is actually an update from Cynthia on what's happening in Ukraine. I don't even know what to say, do you? I want to say a quick thank you to Johnny FD and all his viewers for helping us getting to the $7,000 we've raised so far for the shelter. Only $3,000 more to go. Thank you so much for donating. It really means a lot. Your help really means a lot to us. Slava oh, Ukraini! Slava Ukraine, guys. Hello, Slava. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will have a full video of Just Most Star coming up. So I hope uh, you enjoy that as well. Stay subscribed and see you guys in the next one. If you can, find yourself some, some coke though. I don't know if you, where you can find it, where you live, but if you do, comment below in the comments and let me know how you like it. Not sponsored.